Hello, my dear students, it's teacher Jason, and I'm happy to welcome you in our online video science lesson. I hope you and your family stay safe and everything all right with you. I wish you enjoy and have a really good time here with me. So let's dive into our lesson. And before we start our lesson, I ask you to pause the video lesson and click the link and watch video one. Video one, it's our song, our lovely song. We sing this song every lesson. So uh, online lesson, the same like in uh, lesson in our school. We start every lesson from our lovely song, okay? So I ask you to pause the video lesson and click the link that appear here in the right uh, upper corner of the video and watch video one. When you finish watching video one, please come back to our video lesson and push the play button and continue to watch our video lesson. All right, now I want you stand up, pause the video lesson, click the link and open our song and start to sing our song okay when you finish singing please come back and continue to watch our video lesson i'm waiting you here and uh, i hope you have fun and enjoy okay let's review everything we learned in previous lesson get ready pay attention please and your eyes on the screen okay all right, our topic was materials in daily life. Yeah? And a particular topic is water absorption properties of materials, right? Water absorption properties of materials. Do you remember what is water absorption? Is the, uh, what is it? Is the ability of material to remind yourself it's to take in water, right? So what we done with you do you remember on page 95 we write correct materials and the water absorption properties pillow do you remember material which made of pillow it's clothes yeah tell me please it's absorb water or it's not absorb water clothes absorb water or not absorb water yes or no tell me please yes right it's absorb water what about drinking glass what made of drinking glass? What material we use to make drinking glass? What kind of material? Yes, it's glass, all right? Tell me please, it's absorb water or not? What do you think, yes or no? Correct, it's not absorb water. What about notebook? It's made of paper, right? And tell me, paper can absorb water or not? Yes, it can. And you remember, we make some experiment, we put water on paper and we see how paper became weak. Yeah, you remember. And notebook made of paper and paper absorb water. What about pen? Do you remember? Pen made of plastic, correct. And it's absorb water or not? Plastic do not absorb water. What about nail? Nail made of? Somebody said iron, but it's metal, okay? It's made of metal. Tell me, it's absorb water or not? No, it's not absorb water, okay? Also, we look at the picture and we fill that blanks. The hand towel made of clothes, right? And water absorption property, it's, no, it's absorb water, right? It's absorb water, okay? And we found umbrella made of plastic, right? and plastic do not absorb water okay properties of composite materials it's uh, our last lesson yeah when we mix two or more materials we get a new material with new properties yeah and for example plaster cast we mix plaster and water you remember to orange color we mix yellow and red color and Clay bricks, we mix clay and rice husk, okay? We make some experiment with you. We have newspaper, yeah, and glue, and we absorb newspaper before the glue, and we make result is thin and 
flutters here yeah? then we apply glue or in other way we can say we make pa paper mache yeah and after we apply glue uh, the result is sticky and can be formed in many shapes all right and then we make some doll right some panda doll okay and newspaper molded in shapes and dried out in the sun it became hard and stays in the shape we made okay we just sum it up then like the new materials will have new properties that can work in the way we want okay also we can make new items by mixing different materials okay and i show you how to make Thai desserts yeah i show you video with a thai woman who make thai desserts yeah and we also watch video how to make concrete yeah and we discover with you that concrete blocks we absorb concrete blocks and we find materials and tools to make concrete yeah concrete mixer shovels and steps yeah you make our steps by put all materials into concrete mixer and second we mix it all and you already get marked for that and we found that concrete is construction material and we use it in many different way okay okay i hope you refresh your knowledge and now let's step into our presentation stage are you ready for new knowledge let's do it attention on the screen please all right to watch next video, I ask you again to pause the video lesson, click the link and watch video two. Same way like we make with video one in the beginning of our lesson. When you finish, watch video number two. Come back to our video lesson and continue to watch our video lesson, all right? See you here after you finish, watch video two okay pause the video now and go watch video two and i waiting you here okay see you later okay excellent now i wish you take out your work textbook prepare your pen or pencil what you use uh, to write in your work textbook and let's do some practice together Take out your work textbook, prepare your pen or pencil and your eyes on screen, all right? All right, what I want, I want you open your work textbook on page 101, okay, 101. We will complete the diagram, okay, water absorption and material mixing. Okay. Water absorption property of material. Look on the left side of our sheet and let's look. Something can absorb water and something cannot absorb water. What they mean? Cloth and paper can absorb water, right? And some material and object cannot absorb water. Think a bit, please, and maybe you can write or you can name some object that cannot absorb water. What do you think? What is it? Okay, I give you example. Okay, metal, wood, and plastic do not absorb water. You can write it. Okay, you can take your pen, write it down in your work textbook, or find new uh, object and uh, material that cannot absorb water. Okay. Let's go to the right side. Properties of composite materials. We mix different materials to make a new object that fits our uses. For example, okay, I want you to write down fits, okay, our uses. And for example, what we can mix uh, to make new object. For example, mixing rice floor with warm water turns the floor into thick lumps. Please write it down, okay? You can put our video on pause, write it down, finish writing, and push the play button and we continue our lesson, right? Okay, we finish with uh, this diagram and we continue, okay? 
water absorption property of materials. We just finished that. Clothes, paper, metal, wood, and plastic. Okay, so water absorption property is important when making things in daily life. For example, number one, cloth is used to make towels for drying our wet body. What number two and three? Okay, let's find another one. Paper is used to make tissue for wiping or cleaning wet things, right? Write it down, okay? Number two. And number three, I show you now. You can put video on pause and write everything down in your work textbook. Number three, plastic is used to make umbrellas that can stop the rain from wetting us. You remember? We discovered with you uh, umbrella. Umbrella made of plastic and plastic stop water. Okay, so we finished writing our point two and three, and now let's go further. Okay, properties of composite materials. We mix different materials to make a new object that fits our uses. For example, mixing rice floor with warm water turns the floor into thick lumps. All right, I want you write it down. Okay, if you still didn't please write it down okay good job now i want to show you some additional video related to our topic okay attention please okay so again i will ask you to pause the video lesson and click the link and watch video three when you finish watching video three continue to watch our video lesson all right so pause the video please Click the link and watch video 3. When you finish watching, come back to our video lesson, push the play button and continue to watch our video lesson. Right? Alright, our lesson is finished. I hope it was exciting and interesting for you and I wish to see you soon. Stay safe, stay home and I wish you all the best for you and your family. Bye-bye.